हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल एच डी ओ राय वी आर स्टडिंग अकाउंटेंसी फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्थ फ्रॉम टी एस गेरेवाल्स टेक्सट बुक टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एडिशन अकाउंटिंग फॉर पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म्स चैप्टर वन अकाउंटिंग फॉर पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म्स फंडामेंटल्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ इन करेक्ट अप्रोप्रिएशन इन द पास्ट और पास्ट एडजस्टमेंट्स सो लेट एस सी सम क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द टेक्सट बुक so in past adjustments let us discuss question number 65 ram mohan and sohan were partner sharing profits in the ratio of 2 is to 1 is to 1 ram withdrew rupees 3000 every month and mohan withdrew rupees 4000 every month interest on drawings at the rate of 6 percentage per annum was charged whereas the partnership deed was silent about interest on drawings showing your वर्किंग क्लियरली पास द नेसेसरी एडजस्टमेंट एंट्री टू रेक्टिफाई द एर नाउ इन दिस क्वेश्चन इंटरेस्ट ऑन ड्रॉइंग्स वॉज नॉट टू बी गिवन टू द पार्टनर्स बट द फर्म बाई मिस्टेक हैज अवॉर्डेड दैम इंटरेस्ट ऑन ड्रॉइंग्स सो नाउ वी हैव टू रेक्टिफाई इट सो सोल्यूशन सिक्सटी फाइव लेट एस कैलकुलेट इंटरेस्ट ऑन ड्रॉइंग्स फॉर दिस which the firm has by mistake collected from the partners now which are the partners who withdrew amount that is ram ram has withdrawn rupees 3000 per month so multiplied by 12 and the rate of interest the firm has charged on them is 6 percentage but the date of drawings is not given but it has uh, it, it is withdrawn every month so when the date of drawing is not given at an average we will calculate for 6 months it's a rule fine when every month drawings are there and the date of drawings is not given in the question whether it is withdrawn in the beginning or in the middle or at the end of the month then we have to take it as in the middle now when you calculate this you get 1080 that is 1080 as interest on drawings which the firm has collected from partner now and similarly for mohan Mohan has withdrawn rupees four thousand per month at the rate of six percentage per annum because the date of drawings is not given. That therefore for six months, ten average, and the amount is rupees one thousand four hundred and forty. So the firm has in total collected as rupees two thousand five hundred and twenty as interest on drawings. So what has the firm done? the firm has collected this interest on drawings and it has distributed to the partners in their profit sharing ratio what is the profit sharing ratio is uh, as given in the question 2 is to 1 is to 1 fine so first partner ram ram has received how much ram has received rupees 1260 when you break this amount in this ratio 2 is to 1 is to 1 you will get ram's portion One thousand two hundred and sixty, and Mohan, Mohan's portion as rupees eight hundred and ten, not eight hundred and ten. It is six hundred and thirty, and Sohan, for Sohan, again six hundred and thirty. So it has been given to the partners this way, profit, in the ratio two is to one is to one. Now this is the amount. which ram paid to the firm and this is the amount which ram received as profit from the firm so that is where the answer lies so let us see that what actually we have to do so interest on drawings interest on drawings which is collected by the firm from the partners so from ram 1080 and from mohan rupees 1440 sohan didn't take any amount as drawings and therefore the firm has received rupees 2520 as an income because interest on drawings is an income fine right? which these two partners have paid to the firm and what did it do with this income it distributed to the partners in as a profit in profit sharing ratio which is 2 is to 1 is to 1 so 
when uh, 2520 is divided in this ratio it is 1260 ram received and 630 mohan and 630 sohan in this way entire 2000 2520 rupees is given to the partners now this much the firm has collected fine it means ram ram has paid so when ram has paid it is a minus figure and this much ram has received so we see that ram has received 180 rupees received ram received fine and mohan paid interest as rupees 1440 and Ra mohan was given rupees 630 as profit so the effect is that 180 rupees uh, sorry 810 rupees 810 this, uh, rupees mohan has paid to the firm fine whereas sohan has received 630 rupees sohan has received so in this way received means what the capital account is credited so what will we do we will debit it to reverse it here also ram has received rupees 180 so we will debit the capital account to cancel it whereas mohan has paid unnecessarily mohan has paid 810 rupees so we will give back mohan 810 rupees so mohan's account will be credited so we will write in journal ram's capital account debited Sohan also debited to Mohan. So Mohan's capital account was debited by rupees 810. So we will credit it back. And Ram has received rupees 180. So we will debit and cancel it. And Sohan has received rupees 630 as profit. So we will debit it, being adjustment entry passed. Now let us see question number 66. Simrat and Beer are partners in the firm sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 3 to 2. On 31st March 2023, after closing the books of accounts, their capital accounts stood at rupees 4,008. 4 lakh 80 thousand and rupees 6 lakh respectively on 1st may 2022 simrath had introduced an additional capital of rupees 1 lakh 20 thousand and beer withdrew rupees 60 thousand from his capital now these are drawings and drawings are out of capital fine here it is mentioned on 1st october 2022 simrath withdrew rupees 2 lakh 40 thousand from her capital and beer introduced rupees 3 lakh so here also there is a additional capital and there is drawings interest on capital is allowed at the rate of six percentage per annum subsequently it was noticed that interest on capital at the rate of six percentage per annum had been omitted profit for the year ended 31st march 2023 amounted to rupees two lakh forty thousand and the partners drawings had been simrat rupees one lakh twenty thousand and B rupees 60,000. Compute the interest on capital if the capitals are fixed and fluctuating. Now, there are two types of drawings discussed in this question. One of the drawing, drawings is out of capital and the other drawings which is given at the end, this is drawings out of profit. Fine. So, whenever we are calculating interest on capital, we have to take into consideration those drawings and additional capital which are especially those drawings which are withdrawn out of capital fine see here beer has withdrawn out of his capital at the same time simrath has also withdrawn rupees two lakh forty thousand out of capital from her capital it is mentioned in the question whereas the other drawings are not out of capital so this these drawings are made at the end of the year that is on 31st march so we have to just ignore this when we are calculating interest on capital but we have to take it into consideration 
when we are calculating opening capital balances fine so in one of the case we will do this and in one of the case we will ignore this i let us see the solution so for solution 66 we will first calculate opening capital balances of both the partners simrat and veer so closing capital is given to us closing capitals that is on 31st of march 2023 for simrat it is 480000 and for beer it is 6 lakh because we are moving reverse from last date to first date then the next date we will consider is 1 10 2022 on this day there was drawings drawings were made by simrat of rupees 24 2 lakh 40 thousand so we will add drawings and there is no drawings for b but there is additional capital additional capital of rupees 3 lakh was brought so this additional capital will be subtracted because we are moving reverse so when we add this we get 7 lakh 20 thousand and here it is we are subtracting 3 lakh then on 1st May 1st May 22 there is additional capital we will subtract additional capital so I will write it here also additional capital by Simrat is of rupees 1,20,000 so we will subtract it and there is no additional capital by B but we will add back drawings drawings of beer and drawings of beer is rupees 60,000 now both these drawings this drawing and this drawing these these are out of capital not out of profit now the new amount of capital is how much it is 6 lakh for Simrat and 3 lakh 60,000 for beer And there is no other information regarding additional capital or drawings made out of capital so this 6 lakh is our on this date this 6 lakh is our opening capital and 3 lakh 60 thousand is the opening capital for B so on 1 4 22 this is our opening capital when capital account is fixed when capital account is fixed why so because we cannot uh, adjust the uh, drawings which is made out of profit in fixed capital account and therefore we will stop here and this is our opening capital balances when the capital accounts are maintained in fixed method so let us calculate interest on capital when capital accounts are fixed for Simrat fine so Simrat's opening capital is rupees 6 lakh and this 6 lakh remained from 1st April 2022 to 30th of April 2022 fine because on 1st of May Simrat introduced 1 lakh 20 thousand so 6 lakh plus additional capital that is 1 lakh 20 thousand that is equal to 7 lakh 20 thousand this happened on 1st of May 2022 and it it was there till 30th of September 22 because on 30th of September Simrath withdrew rupees 2,40,000 so this 7,20,000 minus 2,40,000 that is equal to that is equal to rupees 4,80,000 that is the closing capital 
and this was in the business from 1st of October 2022 to the last date of the accounting year that is 31st of March 2023. So this is the story of Simrat's Capital. Now here you can see that this 6 lakh is only for one month. So we will charge interest on this 6 lakh and the recommended rate of interest is 6 percentage. 6 percentage and for how many months from April whole of April so one month fine and on this 7 lakh 20 thousand again 6 percentage will be charged but for from 1st of May to 30th of September so it is 5 months May, May, June, July, August and September so for 5 months and now on 4 lakh 80 thousand at the rate of 6 percentage per annum for the remaining period that is from 1st October to 31st of March that is October, November, December, January, February, March for 6 months remaining 6 months. So here you can see that 12 months are here 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 6 is 12. Now when you calculate this here it is 3000 rupees here it will come 18,000 rupees and here it is 14,400. So total interest on capital for Simrat when the fixed when the capital accounts are fixed is 35,400. So this is the answer for Simrat. Now let us calculate for Beer. Beer's closing capital opening capital is rupees 3,60,000. And it was in the business from 1st of April 2022 to 30th of April 2022. Fine. Then this 3,60,000 was reduced by 60,000 rupees because of drawings on 1st of May 2022. And it, and it is how much? It is 3 lakh rupees. So it remained in the business from 1st of April, 1st of May 2022 to 30th of September 2022 then this 3 lakh plus 3 lakh because there was an additional capital brought by beer of 3 lakh so his capital became 6 lakh on 1st of October 2022 and it lasted till the last day of the accounting year 31st of March 2023 so here also we will charge accordingly on this 3,60,000 rupees at the rate of 6 percentage per annum for one month because it is one month. And then on this 3 lakh rupees at the rate of 6 percentage per annum for five months from 1st of May to 30th of September is five months. So five by 12. And then on 6 lakh rupees at the rate of 6 percentage per annum from 1st of October to 31st of March. This is how much? 6 months. So the amount is 1800, here 7500 and here 18000. In this way when we add it, we get interest on capital for partner B when his capital account is fixed is Rs 27300. Now let us calculate opening capital when capital accounts are maintained in fixed in fluctuating method. Fine. Is rupees four lakh eighty thousand for Simrat and rupees six lakh for Beer. Now profit is also in this. At the same time, uh, drawings out of profit is also here to be adjusted. So on the same date, that is thirty first of March two thousand twenty three we will add back drawings drawings of rupees 1 lakh 20 thousand for the first partner and rupees 60 thousand for the second partner these are drawings out of profit and we will subtract profit for the year which is rupees 2 lakh 40 thousand in the ratio 3 is to 2 so for the first partner the profit is rupees 1 lakh 44 thousand and for the second partner 96,000 so it is to be subtracted 
because all these things are added and subtracted in the last date. So when you add this, you will get rupees four lakh fifty six thousand and rupees five lakh sixty four thousand. Then on one ten two thousand twenty two, there is drawings. Drawings out of capital, right? Rupees two lakh forty thousand. So we will add this, and there is additional capital also. We will subtract. Now the same thing as we did for fixed method, we will subtract. Now the new capital balances on this date will be six lakh ninety six thousand. And here it is two lakh sixty four thousand. Then on first of May two thousand twenty two, again there is drawings, drawings out of capital. Fine, so we will add back drawings out of capital. And this drawings is rupees uh, rupees sixty thousand for. B, and there is additional capital that we will subtract. Additional capital, Simrat, one lakh twenty thousand, that we will subtract. So these are the opening capitals on one four twenty two. So on this amount we will charge interest for six months, and on this amount we will charge interest for five months, and on this amount we will charge interest only for one month. So interest on capital for Simrat, it is. Five lakh seventy six thousand from one four two thousand twenty two to thirty death four two thousand twenty two. On this, at the rate of six percentage for one month, and the amount is rupees two thousand eight hundred and eighty. Then this five lakh seventy six thousand. We add. We will add one lakh twenty thousand because additional capital was brought, and it will become six lakh ninety six thousand. So on this six lakh ninety six thousand, at the rate of six percentage per annum, for how many period? From it will be from one five two thousand twenty two to thirtieth September two thousand twenty two. That is for five months. And here the interest is rupees seventeen thousand four hundred. Then this six lakh ninety six thousand we will subtract drawings of rupees one lakh twenty thousand, which is made on first of October. So from first of October two thousand twenty two to thirty first of March two thousand twenty three, this is the amount. That is how much five lakh fifty six five lakh seventy six thousand. So on this five lakh seventy six thousand, at the rate of six percentage per annum for six months. From here to here it is six months, and interest is rupees thirteen thousand six hundred and eighty. When we grand total it, we get the interest on capital as rupees thirty three thousand nine hundred and sixty. This is the answer. Interest on capital when capital accounts are maintained on fluctuating method for Simrat. Now let us calculate for Peer. Now Peer's opening capital is rupees three lakh twenty four thousand as per fluctuating method, and it remained in the business from one four twenty two to thirty four twenty two on this six percentage per annum for one month. And the amount is rupees sixteen twenty. Fine. 
then this 3 lakh 24,000 on this uh, there was a drawings of rupees 60,000 so it became rupees 2 lakh 64,000 on which date on 1st May 2022 and it was there till 30th September 2022 on this amount at the rate of 6 percentage per annum for 5 months because this period is 5 months and the amount here is 6600 interest then on this 264000 rupees there was an additional capital made of rupees 3 lakh on which date on 1 10 2022 and it remained in the business till the end of the accounting year that is 31st march 2023 so in the in this last six months the capital was rupees five lakh sixty four thousand on this at the rate of six percentage per annum for six months and the amount is rupees sixteen thousand nine hundred and twenty when you add this beers interest on capital is rupees twenty five thousand one hundred and forty when the capital accounts are maintained in fluctuating method so this way we have to calculate interest on capitals. I hope that you have watched the full video and understood the concept very well. Despite this, if you are having any doubt, then please put it in the comment section. Please do like it, subscribe it and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching this video.